A mom speaking only with 7 News after her husband is sentenced to 12 years in prison for beating their newborn daughter. She talks with Lance Hernandez about what she wants other moms to learn from her experience. Can mommy have a kiss? Jennifer Blake is ecstatic that her baby Jean is still alive. A little more than a year ago, she came home and found a bruise on Jean's face. Jean was just a few weeks old. She took Jean to the hospital against her husband's wishes. Doctors discovered a skull fracture, several broken ribs, and a torn frenula. I started crying and my son started screaming with me. Prosecutors say Terry Bates initially claimed that he was carrying Jean in a bouncing seat at their home on East Colfax and that his son tripped him and the baby fell. He later admitted slapping the baby on the head and squeezing her out of frustration. <laughs> to squeeze so hard to break ribs, to push a bottle in a baby's mouth, hard enough to tear the tongue, to hit the head so hard it cracks the skull and leaves a bruise is monstrous behavior. Blake says she's telling her story because she wants to help others who find themselves in a similar situation. Taking the first step is going to be the hardest thing to do, but it's going to be the best thing to do. Because if you don't take the first step, you're just going to be stuck in that situation and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Now, Blake told 7 News that she wanted to leave her husband earlier, but he told her that if she walked out the door, she'd never see their kids again. So she didn't do anything until she saw the bruise on her baby's face. Jean, now an active 21-month-old, is suffering some speech and motor impairment from her earlier injuries. I'm Lance Hernandez in the 7 Newsroom.